I often hear riders talking about how the front end of their bike feels like it's going to slide out, like the front wheel is just going to wash out in a turn. And typically this is because there's not enough weight on the front wheel, not because there's too much. One way we can start to create correct weighting on the front tire is to think about driving our outside knee forward. Our outside knee should actually drive forward past our ankle. And what often happens is that when riders start to feel pressure moving into a turn, their heel falls down and back too far. And this action of the heel falling down and back actually makes the knee fall behind the ankle joint. For proper cornering, we actually want the knee to drive forward over the ankle joint. And what this is doing is it's putting pressure forward through the turn. It's a lot like in skiing where we want to pressure into the tongue of the ski boot in order to create pressure into the front of the ski and get the front of the ski to bend. So as we're moving through a turn and opening the inside knee toward the turn, we're going to think about just driving that outside knee slightly forward, making sure it's driving forward past the ankle bone. This again is going to put pressure on that front tire and it also is going to compress our front suspension into the turn, giving us more traction and control. Often when a rider turns better in one direction than the other, this is at the root of it. A lot of times with our coordinated foot, we're very easily able to drive our knee forward past our ankle. And on our second favorite side, what happens with a lot of riders is that they tend to straighten the knee too much because the leg is less coordinated. In this instance, by straightening the knee, they're typically forced back to the heel, which then pushes the bike out in front of them, creating a loss of control with the front end. So if you find that your cornering is better on one side, you might notice that on your favorite side, you're actually able to bend your knee, drive it forward, and get it in front of the ankle bone, where on your second favorite side, maybe your leg is completely straight and locked out, and your heel is dropping back too much, creating a loss of control at the front end of the bike.